what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel where i talk all things beauty fashion fitness and wellness so if that is something you are into and you vibe with me then please double check and make sure you are subscribed okay because i have a lot of viewers that are not currently subscribed to my channel so if you enjoy seeing me on your feed then definitely hit that subscribe button but today you guys this is gonna be another pretty big haul, okay? This is gonna be kind of a chill, just first impressions of some things that I've picked up. I did want this to initially just be a Sephora haul because I have some things that I've picked up from Sephora. I also have some things that were sent over to me as PR that are available at Sephora. So y'all know I will have everything linked in the description box below as I talk about it. But I do also have a few other things that I've picked up from TJ Maxx and Ulta. So I basically am going to just split this up into skincare and makeup and then I will do the fragrances at the end because I do have quite a few fragrances to talk to you guys about. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the makeup and skincare that I picked up. The first thing that I picked up is this Game of Thrones Revolution Mother of Dragons palette. Now, if you guys watched my last TJ Maxx haul, which I will link that up top, um, my last little shot with me, I also did a short a few days after that because I did end up going back to TJ Maxx to pick up a couple of things. And this was one of them. I said that I wasn't going to get any more palettes, girl, but guess what? I got another one, okay? So yes, this is what it looks like. I just love this color story, you guys. Absolutely love it. It's got tons of neutrals and lots of nice little glitter shades that I do plan on using quite a lot, especially in the spring and summer. So very happy to have picked this up. So I'm gonna swatch out the shade Dragon Fire. Let's see. Very pretty, you guys. These are the type of shades that I'm definitely very into. So very excited to play around with that. The next thing that I picked up, Pat Von D Moon Garden Palette. This was at TJ Maxx for $14.99. I'm pretty sure the original price of this was like $35 or something like that. Again, if you guys wanna see the original prices of these items, um, I will try to link them, but the TJ Maxx items, honestly, I would just recommend you guys check your local stores, but just know that it was a great deal. So. Here is what this palette looks like. Super pretty, very like interesting color story, but definitely excited to play around with this. This is definitely a palette that does not look like any of my other palettes that I have right now. So that's kind of my buying criteria when it comes to makeup palettes now, because I'm trying to get things that don't look like stuff that I already have. I saw a few reviews on this on YouTube and I thought it would be something fun to grab. My most exciting makeup finds from TJ Maxx were definitely these pat mcgrath palettes so i found one of the holiday collection divine blush palettes this is one of the blush and highlighter duos the color divine rose here i'll go ahead and swatch one of them out so here's the highlighter right here in the middle please ignore the golden shade on the far end that's from the mother of dragons palette but here's one of the highlighters and then here's one of the blush shades really really pretty like corally red so i'm really excited to play around in this then i also picked up two of these little five pan mini eyeshadow palettes i was very excited to find these because i did not pick these up when this collection originally launched you find it in tj maxx for literally less than half the price i was very excited so this is what this one looks like this one is the nude allure and this color story is just beautiful you guys i love these types of like mauvey glittery rose gold or pinky type of shimmery shade so it comes with a nice amount of shimmers and again i've seen a few youtube reviews on this line and i definitely feel like the color story matches my vibe and then here is the bronze bliss this one definitely gives me more of like a smoky eye kind of vibe but either or you guys it definitely has lots of shimmers that i plan on using super super great deals you guys you know you guys know pat mcgrath is typically pretty pricey so if you can find them at your tj maxx i definitely recommend you guys snatch them up the last two tj maxx finds are actually two body care items so this is the truly best buddies body butter now if you guys watched my last tj maxx haul and shot with me i pretty much said that the body polish of this had like a weird smell to me but the body butter smelled really really good so this has notes of mango pineapple sea kelp algae hyaluronic acid boost and 
I'm definitely getting a very sweet mango in here. So I'm excited to play around with this and layer this with some of my other products. And the last score from TJ Maxx, you guys, was this Josie Marin Whipped Argan Pro Retinol Body Butter. You guys, this is the large eight fluid ounce size that typically goes for like 40 or 50 bucks at Sephora. I got this for $9.99, you guys. Pink Grapefruit Dream. It smells so good. If you are a grapefruit fan, Y'all, this smells so good. Literally smells like a very juicy grapefruit. Go on to a couple of things I picked up from Ulta and then we will move into literally all of these four items. So the first thing I picked up from Ulta is this Good Molecules Discoloration Color Correcting Serum. I talked about this in an empties video, probably my very last empties video. And I told you guys, literally ran to the store to pick this up. So I have already been using this, but I did want to include it in this haul because it is something I've picked up from Ulta to recently and y'all like I said in that video this I swear by if you have hyperpigmentation this is like literally the only thing that I've seen work so significantly in such a small amount of time when it comes to fading dark marks and hyperpigmentation and scarring so yeah if you are a melanated girl I definitely recommend this if you deal with dark marks and things like that because it has worked very well for me up another Ulta beauty scrub so this is the island breeze scent this has re-released for the spring and summer and this one I believe has notes of caramel coconut or caramel almond or something like that but this scent reminds me heavily of the Sol de Janeiro Cherosa 62 scent. I would just say that this one smells slightly a little bit more aquatic but it's definitely got that very nutty caramelized like almond caramelized pistachio type of scent. I am a lover of Ulta scrubs like so many of these are my fave. I would probably say the coconut cream and the sugared vanilla are like my top two faves but their scrubs are just the best you guys. I literally talk about them in like all my empties videos or like layering videos like they just smell so good and they also have a very gentle foam and lather as well. So definitely recommend you guys try some of these out and especially this scent as well. This did come in a fine fragrance mist and some body washes and things like that, but I just picked up the scrub. I really didn't feel like I needed the body mist and things like that because I already have so many other things that smell like the Cherosa 62 scent. So yeah, I just picked up the body scrub. Then I picked up a little travel size of this new Escada scent. This is the Escada Santorini Sunrise, and this is a limited edition Escada scent. Um, I did get the travel size and I really do wish this was a mist and not a rollerball because if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of like rollerballs, but basically the way I'm going to talk about all the fragrances in this video, you guys, is I'm going to do it as more of a first impression since I have so many fragrances to talk about. So I will just post the notes on the screen, but as I'm talking about them, it'll kind of be me smelling them blindly. I can't really remember right off the top of my head what the notes were for this one but oh my gosh see this is why i don't like rollerballs because they literally i feel like they just get everywhere but this one i really did like you guys this is definitely a fresh fruity scent i believe there's like pink peppercorn or something in here i can't remember what the fruit was but i'm definitely smelling something like papaya or like mango or dragon fruit or that kind of vibe Again, I will have the notes on the screen by the time I'm editing this, but I do really, really like this one. I think I wore this um, to the gym the other day and I really, really enjoyed it. So if you guys want to hear like full on in-depth reviews of some of these fragrances, then definitely let me know like in the comments below which fragrances you guys want full on reviews for because the last perfume I think I did a review on on my channel was for the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Intense. So I will link that video up top if you are interested in seeing that. I did that one I think a few weeks ago but if you want a full on in-depth review of any of these fragrances you guys let me know. I really just wanted this to be more of a haul and first impressions. But yeah Santorini Sunrise I definitely definitely really like this one. I'm probably going to get some great use out of this for the spring and summer. Okay y'all now let's move on to everything I picked up from Sephora okay so some of these items were PR so I'm going to talk about those first this first thing being from Ajua Beauty thank you so much to Ajua Beauty for sending this over to me but this is the Bow Mint Protect Oil Blend and I've talked about this you guys in an empties video I talked about this in a Sephora haul literally like my very last empties video you guys I 
love this freaking oil okay like this brand specifically i love for my natural hair but this oil this is probably the best hair oil that i've ever used so i'm just so appreciative that they sent this to me because this is literally a product that i use all the time this is one of those oils that does not make my hair feel heavy but it also literally makes my curl pattern go straight back to normal like if i've used heat or something it literally makes my hair curl pattern revert back to its natural state and it just makes my hair feel very very clean very soft like it is just a great hair oil and it also has a lightly like minty type of scent so it just makes your scalp feel clean and smell really good so i highly recommend this i think this is like a new size that they're offering in the oil if i'm not mistaken because it did not come with this little applicator so i'm very happy to have this now because that was the only drawback i didn't like about this originally is that it had the um pop-up like the pop-off little cap or whatever so sometimes it was hard to like pour out exactly how much you wanted so it'll be so much easier for me to use this now that i have the one with this little cap so thank you so much azure beauty for sending this over next little pr item that was sent over to me was by first aid beauty these are the ingrown hair pads in the newest jumbo size this is again something that i've talked about in an empties video before you guys because this used to come in, it still comes in the original size, but this used to come in basically a size that was like half the size of this. I believe it was 28 pads or 30 pads. And while I loved that one, I would always say I really wish this came in a larger size. If you are someone who deals with ingrowns and hyperpigmentation, like these I literally swore by like on my bikini area, under my arms, on my legs sometimes. I really just use them more so on my legs now because I have started getting laser under my arms and my bikini area. So I really don't need them in those areas as much, but it did help to get rid of those last few ingrown hairs that I had before I started getting laser. And this was literally something that I swore by. So very happy to have these again because I will be using these on my legs and sometimes you guys i use them on my stomach because i'll like occasionally shave my stomach and i'll like get a random ingrown there so if you have ingrown prone hair you guys i definitely definitely recommend these you can of course start out with the smaller size if you need to see how they work for you but i'm very glad to have them in the large jumbo size because that was something that i would always say when i used to buy them so thank you so much first a beauty for sending these over i also picked up this laneige little lip glowy balm in the scent gummy bear i have not tried their lip glowing balms but this did have some pretty decent reviews so i can't wait to try this out and again the scent is gummy bear like Hello, obviously I'm gonna pick this up. So I think it's like lightly tinted, but for the most part, you guys, it's pretty just like, it's kind of like a lip gloss almost, and it just gives your lips a nice, healthy glow and shine. Finally picked up the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Fermeza. I think that's how you say it, Fermeza Oil. So this is basically the Boom Boom Cream Chirosa 62 Body Oil. So I have been dying to try this. It says it visibly firms and deep puffs with guarana caffeine complex and microalgae extract so this is basically supposed to be a firming body oil so i'm not sure honestly i really just picked it up because look at this bottle and design you guys like this looks so good i love anything and am a sucker for anything with a pump on it honestly so i've never been disappointed with anything from sol de janeiro like i literally talk about their products all the time and empty their body butters constantly. So I'm very excited to finally try this out. This is an item that all the girls, if you watch the Super Bowl, you already know. This is something that I actually picked up for the very first time last summer from Ulta. I think I talked about it in like my Diamond Day haul. This is the Invisimat Universal Setting Powder by Fenty Beauty. This is literally a lifesaver for my oily girls, okay? I do use my Huda Beauty um setting powder right now that's like my go-to but i did need another one to put in my purse and this is something that i used constantly last summer when i was working on a pool I literally had to blot the oily spots on my face constantly especially when you wear sunscreen and makeup at the same time like my skin just gets so oily sometimes so this is a lifesaver it literally fits in your purse and then i have two more makeup items before we jump into these fragrances which is what i'm the most excited about but I did pick up the Too Faced New Blush. So this is the Cloud Crush um, Blurring Blush. More popular shade right now is like the Candy Clouds or something like that. But honestly, I felt like that one, 
it was just a little too, it had too much of like a bluish like purple undertone to me so this is the one that i picked up i picked up the shade golden hour this one you guys is literally so beautiful it's like my perfect peachy pink shade so hard to tell right now you guys because i have literally the worst lighting since it's so overcast right now but this is basically a very it's got like a slightly satin type of color to it but it's got almost like this sheen to it i'm gonna just have to do it on camera one day so you guys can see it but this is a beautiful shade it's got even like a little bit of a, sh a shine or like a sparkle to it also picked up the new one size cheek clapper blush so here is what that looks like and this you guys i'm not even going to swatch right now because you literally can go to the one size instagram there's so many like reels and posts on this being swatched out so i had to pick this up you guys because like i just said i really do like pinky type of blushes especially baby doll pinks and things like that so i cannot wait to try this out and let you guys know how i like it so now let's get to the more exciting part of this haul if you are a fragrance girly like me, of course I love my makeup and my skincare, but girl, I'm the most excited about these fragrances. So let's start with the fragrances that I was gifted and then I will jump into the fragrances that I actually purchased. First fragrance that was sent over to me is Velvet Personal by Commodity. So thank you guys so much Commodity for sending this fragrance over. You guys know I love Commodity. I currently own the Milk Expressive and the Gold Expressive and I just love those you guys. Like I've talked about milk in so many Many of my videos because that it was one of my favorites last year and it's still one of my favorites so i haven't been reaching for it as much because here in atlanta we're getting a lot more warm weather we really are creeping in towards the spring so i find milk to be just a little bit heavy for what i want right now but the commodity velvet i'm gonna have the notes on the side but this is definitely a rose almondy vanilla type of scent and this one, you guys, is so beautiful, okay? If you guys like scents like Replicas by the Fireplace, it almost gives me the vibes as if Replicas by the Fireplace and like C by Giorgio Armani kind of had a baby because it has kind of like this woodiness, almost a little bit of a smokiness in the opening. And my first initial reaction of this, you guys, I wasn't the biggest fan of the opening. Like I felt like it was almost a little bit too smoky for me. But I used to feel the same way about replicas by the fireplace where I was like, oh my God, this is too woody. But this, you guys, you really do have to let this dry down because once it dries down, it is such the most delicious creamy almondy vanillic rose type of scent this definitely even though this is a personal which typically if you guys don't know how commodities fragrances work the personals are said to be the more intimate fragrances so they're meant to be smelled by you and those that you allow close then they go up and tear from there but honestly you guys I would say this wears more like an expressive because I definitely had a nice scent bubble with this. I was definitely getting compliments when I wore this the couple of times that I did wear it. And this definitely is kind of a sexy scent to me. Like this could be a casual scent, but this also gives me very much date vibes or some sort of formal occasion. This just smells very sophisticated to me. It's definitely giving me grown woman vibes. I wouldn't say that this is blind by safe necessarily, but if you like those kind of creamy, sexy, sensual rose fragrances, I definitely think this is one that you guys should check out. At least smell in your local Sephora, test it out and see how you feel about it because I find this to lean way more of a sweet fragrance but it also has those feminine touches as well and this could very much be unisex if you are a man that likes rose fragrances so i am definitely a fan of this one and i cannot wait to play around with it a little bit more this spring okay you guys my next pr package was from skylar and you guys they sent me so many freaking fragrances but let's start with the peach field so this is their newest fragrance so they sent over this adorable box y'all like oh my god look at this this is literally so cute so they sent me a full size of the peach fields and then also a roller ball this little cute hair clip and um a, this jar of peach preserve so if you guys watched my short when i first received this i did a cute little um asmr type of short and unboxing but you guys i have already been wearing this fragrance and let me tell you 
This is gonna be one of my go-tos for the spring, okay? If you are not familiar with Skylar as a brand, they are a clean beauty brand. So if you are someone that deals with sensitive skin like that and you can't wear your fragrances directly on your skin, this is a perfect brand for you to check out. You guys, they are currently sold in Sephora, but they do have a standalone website. And I have talked about a few of their fragrances on my channel, but Peach Fields has notes of white peach, sandalwood, and osmanthus. And like I said, you guys, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do a full-on in-depth review. If you want me to do a full-on in-depth review, then let me know in the comments below. But y'all, I have been loving this. This is definitely a very fresh, juicy peach type of scent. I have been wearing this to the gym nonstop. As you guys can see, I've already put a little dent in here. So I have been loving this one. And I definitely recommend you guys head to your local Sephora to smell this if you are a fan of fresh green peach scents because this will definitely be in my rotation for the spring. The next couple of fragrances that Skylar sent over to me, these are actually not sold at Sephora, but this scent I did a full on review on of my on my channel like a few months ago. So I will link that video up top, but they sent me two of the Boardwalk Delight, which you guys know I love this scent. I was definitely a fan of this scent. This is very much a cotton candy, aquatic, fresh apple type of scent. It smells really good. And I emptied one of these as well last summer. So happy that they sent me a couple of these. This one has notes of pure vanilla, cotton candy, coconut milk, you guys. And I just love this one. I talked about it a couple videos at this point, so I'm not going to harp too much on it, but definitely check out my review. This one is available only exclusively at Skylar's website. So I will have that linked in the description box as well. But we are supposed to be hopefully seeing this come out in a full size perfume sometime this year. I I know originally they said it was supposed to come out this February so I haven't heard anything else about it but I am still on the lookout for that because as you know I'm not the biggest fan of rollerballs but I have figured out a way how to decant them so I'm probably going to decant these into some sprays and things like that they sent me a rollerball of the pink canyon which I do actually already have a full size of this perfume and I love this one this is another really great spring and summer scent this one has notes of grapefruit pink salt and cedar and this is definitely like one of those clean girl scents it's a little bit fresh it's a little bit fruity it's a little bit aquatic and it just has that very clean girl type of vibe that girl that just has it all together so this is another great gym fragrance as well and definitely one i recommend you guys check out so even though I already have a full size of this, I'm glad to have a full size of it because I will probably throw this in my gym bag. They also sent me a full size of Vanilla Sky, which you guys, this is such a bomb vanilla fragrance. Now, Skylar's fragrances typically aren't super beast mode. Like Pink Canyon, I would say, is one of their stronger ones. But Vanilla Sky is definitely one of those very intimate type of vanilla scent on those days where you want to smell good just for you and like a couple of people that are around you you don't want to be super beast mode this is a perfect layering fragrance as well this has notes of cappuccino pure vanilla and caramelized cedar and this literally you guys is just a very creamy slightly i wouldn't even say this is a coffee vibe honestly this literally just smells like a starbucks drink to me like minus that heavy caffeine note it just smells super creamy super gourmand so love love this one and this is definitely one of my faves so i'm very happy to have a full size because this is another one i think i emptied last summer and i just hadn't gotten around to getting another one so yeah the scent that skylar sent me is coconut cove so y'all know i am a coconut girl through and through so i was thrilled to have this because this is a skylar scent that i haven't actually tried so this one has notes of bergamot coconut and ambroxan Let's see, girl. Oh, yes. I love this, y'all. I love this. If you love those tropical citrusy scents, I cannot think of for the life of me right now what this smells like from Bath and Body Works, but I'm going to think of it and I'm going to let you guys know. But this definitely has that very bright bergamot citrus like blast in the opening and then I instantly get that creamy coconut this smells so good you guys again a very nice fresh clean girl type of scent but this one I would say definitely leans a little bit more gourmand because of that coconut in there but I love this one you guys I am so happy to have all of these I will definitely be wearing I honestly wear a lot of my Skylar scents to the gym because number one I feel like they don't irritate me while I'm working out, but they also last and give me that nice little scent bubble that I need to feel fresh and clean. So 
definitely adding this one into the rotation. Yeah, we almost done. So in these two little bags, I just have a bunch of little small travel sizes that I picked up of things, of scents that I want to try. If you guys have been following me, you guys know I've been doing a lot of decluttering. So I am trying to only add full sizes of bottles in my collection of things that I genuinely love 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 so i just felt like i would just grab a bunch of travel sizes i just decluttered a bunch of perfumes so if you did not see either of my declutter videos i will definitely link that up top picked up a few travel sizes for my birthday just to try some new scents out which by the way i really love now that sephora gives you the option to do the bonus points i think you can get like 250 bonus points as opposed to like the travel size birthday gift so i opted to get the bonus points this year because even though I like trying sample sizes of like skincare and stuff like that, I just feel like it's almost kind of a waste because to see any significant results from skincare items, it's kind of like you have to use a full size of it to really see how it works for you. So the first fragrance that I picked up, you guys, is the newest Seven Virtues scent, Coconut Sun. Oh my God, it's so backwards, you guys. When I posted on my community tab the other day, a lot of you guys actually ordered that through my link. So definitely appreciate all of you guys who shopped my link that did directly support me but you guys i will say if you're ordering the rollerball the travel size of this please be careful opening it okay do not unscrew it because i made the giant mistake of unscrewing this whole thing and i thought it was a rollerball and so when i unscrewed it a nice little chunk of the liquid actually came out so yeah y'all just take heed of that okay if you are ordering this but this one i believe has notes of coconuts frangipani and vanilla and I will say my first initial impressions of this, you guys, I do like it. I just feel like it does smell very similar to other coconut vanilla tropical perfumes that I have. Um, it smells very similar to Dolce Garden to me, minus like, I feel like Dolce Garden has a little bit more of a floral note to it, but I feel like this is like a less floral version of Dolce Garden if that makes sense but again if you guys want me to do like a full-on in-depth review on this definitely let me know I'm still in the testing phases so I really just wanted to do like a haul and first impressions so on first impressions you guys I do like this I just feel like it smells similar to other things that are out there it doesn't smell like super different i feel like after a while a lot of coconut frangipani and vanilla scents do typically start to smell very similar so if you have scents like dolce garden or alien goddess you probably don't really need this one unless you just want a clean brand version of that in which i would say definitely check this out so yeah i will just keep you guys updated like i said let me know if y'all want a full-on review hey y'all the next one i picked up is the nest balinese coconut oil now you guys know i am a huge fan of the nest madagascar vanilla oil so this is their newest fragrance and y'all know like i said i'm a huge coconut lover so i had to try this on first impressions you guys it definitely smells more of like a woody coconut like almost like the coconuts like husk like i smell almost like it almost smells like the coconut growing on like a coconut tree like it smells very woody it's not a super creamy coconut to me on first impression so i'm going to play around with this a little bit more i do like how it smells but it's definitely not as sweet as i was anticipating it to be but i did initially feel the same way about the nest madagascar vanilla oil that they have i felt like it was slightly masculine and very very woody and then it ended up sweetening up a lot over over time on my skin so I hope the same thing happens with this one and that it just sweetens up a little bit because right now it is giving me a very woody coconut like coconut husk type of vibe like almost borderline a little bit masculine but their fragrances are pretty unisex as a whole so I don't know I don't dislike it I don't love it right now but I do want to play around with it a little bit more and see how it does on my skin over time now this one I don't even have to test on camera I know it's super hard to see on this box but this is the Dolce by Rosie Jane this fragrance, you guys, I was originally introduced in a Sephora um, samplers kit, like one of the perfume samplers kit. This one, you guys, is so, so good. So I'm glad to finally have it. I already know I'm probably going to be purchasing a full size of this. But this one, I believe, has notes of vanilla, chocolate, and musk, I believe. And to me, you guys, this literally smells like Bath & Body Works Christmas cookies mixed with like All Rehab's Choco Musk. It also gives me a little bit of Billie Eilish Eilish vibes. Like to me, this scent, you guys, smells 
so good it smells like if you are like freshly showered and you put on like your nice robe and you're going into the kitchen and you just freshly baked chocolate chip cookies and you're sitting down to like eat your cookies and your nice cozy warm robe it's a cozy slightly musky gourmand scent so yeah i'm definitely a fan of this one you guys probably going to pick up a full size once I finish this little travel size. Also, you guys, I'm very happy that this is an actual travel spray. Um, this does come in a roller ball if you're interested, but y'all know me, I prefer the travel sprays, so I'm very happy to have this one. And then another new fragrance I picked up is the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. I have been seeing a lot of the girlies talk about this one on Instagram, so I had to try this one out. And I will have the notes on the side as I'm talking about these, you guys, because these are just like my blind smells, initial impressions. This is definitely a very fresh, I can see why they say sparkling. It just kind of has that effervescent, sparkling, pretty floral, fresh quality, but there's also some sweetness in here. It smells like there might be some fruit in here. I like this though, you guys. I definitely like this. I don't know right now if I would purchase a full-size bottle of it. It does smell really, really good. I'm going to continue testing this out, playing around with this and seeing how I feel about it as I wear it a little bit more. But so far, my first initial impressions are I definitely like this. Okay, you guys, the last thing that I picked up is this Fame by Paco Rabanne. This is actually a little gift set. And it's so cute because I think this is like the price of this gift set was like only five dollars more than the price of the actual travel size atomizer but you basically get a miniature version of the bottle as well as a travel size little is this a spray or a rollerball let's see yes this is a spray girl okay so yes yeah, so this is Paco Rabanne's newest fragrance which rest in peace if you guys did not know Paco Rabanne actually recently passed this is his newest fragrance so I've been wanting to try this out and see how I like it again this is my blind impression blind first sniff because I totally forgot what the notes even are but let's see also you guys that Nest Balinese coconut is definitely sweetening up a little bit so that's kind of what happened with the Madagascar vanilla the same similar thing so I think I'm gonna definitely end up really enjoying that one but ooh I like this. This smells like a fruity, woody type of scent. Like it smells like there's like mango or like dragon fruit or passion fruit or there's like some sort of tropical fruit vibe in the opening. I like this, you guys. I'm getting some sort of like musky or woody mixture in there, but this I like. I like this a lot, you guys. And that's literally in my first 30 seconds of spraying it. So again, like I said, this is the last fragrance in this video. But if you guys want full on in-depth reviews of these scents, definitely let me know because I really did not want this to be super long. I wanted these to be quick first impressions. So y'all let me know in the comments below which ones you guys want me to do reviews on. But this Paco Rabanne fame, I'm definitely going to like this. If you are a fruity lover, like if you love those slightly woody fruity type of scents, I don't know. I can't tell you right now what this is reminding me of, but like I said, I will update you guys if y'all want a full on in-depth review. But that is it, you guys, for this huge, huge, huge Sephora slash Ulta slash TJ Maxx haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like me to review, if anything, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.